Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today we will talk about animals and their babies. It's when a baby is first born, it grows up, it gets bigger and bigger, it has babies of its own and then it gets older and then it dies and then the babies keep going and they make more and more babies. Just like how you and your mother and your grandmother, they all sort of are all connected to each other, right? So, the cycle of life, a cycle means it's taking one sort of circle around it. So this is one cycle. So when your mom was born, that's one cycle, and now it's you are born, so it's now a second cycle, right, of life. When we look at a hen or a female chicken, a girl chicken, some of us think it is scary. Well, they really are, they're birds. But what about a chick, a little baby chicken? We think it is really cute. All babies are little and cute, right? However, yet, we never stay the same. You know, a chick doesn't stay small forever, right? You don't stay this tall forever, you will get bigger. After babies are born, right? They continue to change. They're always changing and changing every day, right? As time goes by. This is called the life cycle of an animal. When the animal is small, it gets bigger and it gets older, that is one cycle. We go through a life cycle too. Just like chickens go through a life cycle, you and I, we are going through a life cycle. First, people begin as an embryo. Embryo is when your mother and father first meet and they make you and you are a very small cell, sort of. You're the smallest baby you can be. You can almost not see it. Slowly though, uh, this is of course inside your mother's stomach. Uh, you have the embryo and slowly a person will change into a baby and then a child and then of course like you, an adolescent and then later into an adult, like your mother and father uh, adults are older people, right? They can, you know, buy a car, they can drive a car, right? An insect, uh, like bugs, also changes from an egg, a larva, a pupa, which is sort of like a little small cocoon, and into an imago. Isn't that neat, right? So all living things, such as you know plants even or even animals and fish we all go through a life cycle the egg baby adult and then we die of course all living things die right all right we're gonna go through three review questions here a animals continue or they are always going to blank throughout their life so when they are born they are always doing something right they're not always sleeping, they're not always moving, but they are, their bodies are always changing. They are going to continue to change throughout their life until they die. B, an adult, uh, sorry, a child will grow up to be an, so just like you are, you are a child, right? One child. And when you grow up, you will become an, Adult, you will become like your mother and father. It's hard to believe, but soon you will be an adult. You can drive a car, you can, you know, buy any kind of snacks you want. See, all people, right, begin as an blank. So this is the ending, right? When we are almost finished, we are adults. And before a child, you are a baby, right? But before you are a baby, you are even smaller like this. And that is what we call an embryo. An embryo is when you are very, very small and you are inside your mother's stomach. Okay? Okay, we're going to go over three review sort of grammar points. A, all babies, blank, little and cute, right? So we have to choose one of these B verbs, one of these verbs. Now, it's, we have a hint here. It means all babies, 모든 아이들, right? It's a lot of babies. It's not one baby, no. It's many babies, all babies. 
And when we have many, many subjects or many, many babies, we have to use R. Okay, of course, am, we only use it with I. We say, I am a boy. I am, you know, going to school. So, I and am are always together, right? So, am is wrong. Is, is when there's only one subject. So, if we say, one baby, we can use is. So, one baby is crying. One cat is sleeping. But because we have many babies, we have to use R, okay? B, we go blank a life cycle too. So the life cycle again is when your embryo, your baby, your child, your adolescent, your adult, these are all sort of stage one, level two, level three, level four, like this, right? And when we are going past it, we're going in it and then we go out, go in and then go out like this. We say that is going through something. Through something is when we have one sort of thing and then we start it and we don't stay here. We keep moving and then we go through it, through something, right? So we have level one, we start level one and then we leave level one and then we go to level two and then we leave level two. So we're starting and ending entering and leaving. C. Slowly, a person will change into a baby, a child, an adolescent, and later, blank, an adult. We have a very nice hint here. We have all these levels, right? Level 1 is a baby, level 2 is a child, and we want to use this preposition here, into a baby. We are a baby, we will change into a child. And when you are a child, you will change into an adult. And later, again, into an adult. So when you are changing from one thing to one more thing, we will use into, change into. So a caterpillar will change into a butterfly. And a baby will change into a child. Okay? So next time you see your grandmother and you really have a nice talk with her, ask her, you know, questions that you may want to know because sooner or later you will become your mother and you will actually become your grandmother in the future. All right, so thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name's Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.